Hey guys, in today's video, I am doing a, a rather large unboxing, so I'm going to show you the box. My stuff falls out of it. So, for those of you who know, that know, I really enjoy my good molecules. Um, not only do I have a face scrub, I have an eye cream, I have a moisturizer, I have uh, two serums, I have a toner, a moisturizer, a bar uh, wash, and an eye makeup remover, or just, I mean, it's a makeup remover, but it was a, like a tester guy somebody gave me. So, um, ever since I bought my trend mood box from Good Molecules, uh, or the Good Molecules Takeover box from Trend Mood, I have fallen in love with this skincare brand. Not only does my skin not like absolutely fucking hate it, but it seems to be doing its job. So when they had a Black Friday sale, I knew Jason was using some of my skincare. I am perfectly okay with sharing skincare with him. Even though he's got oily skin, there are a few of the products that I have that he definitely can use and I want to try and get him on skincare because he's over 50 and doesn't do skincare very often. So I wanted to get a couple of things that I didn't already have and I wanted to buy a replacement for something but then they had this deal that if you bought a specific package, which I actually saw the ad on Facebook, so shout out to Facebook for this, but it also came with a mini fridge if you bought a specific package. Now granted, there's probably products in here I won't use, which I will either use as a giveaway or whatever. So I'm gonna show you, this is the mini fridge. And it comes with a little handle, isn't that freaking cute? Now, I'm going to push this back on the counter a little bit because this sucker is slap full. They like packed the freaking mini fridge. So we're going to unpack the mini fridge together. I've only seen a few items, but because I know this stuff will fall out, I wanted to make sure it was further back on the counter because there's already stuff falling down on the counter. Okay, so first we have the facial cleansing mitt, which I wanted to get because I like the reusable, like this is one from Fabletics. I have one from e.l.f. as well that they sent me. So now I have one from Good Molecules. This is like a little mitt that you could slide your hand into to get your makeup off, which um, would probably be handy to get like eye makeup and stuff off with instead of like one of these, you kind of have to like do one of these numbers to, but I do enjoy my Fabletics ones that uh, a subscriber had sent me. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So then I picked up this bad boy, which is the, why are you open? This is the pineapple um, exfoliating powder. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I use it in the shower. Um, I think Jason will enjoy that as well. I got the instant cleansing balm. Now the, the little one of these that I have, it's older. So hopefully this doesn't burn my skin like the other one does. Oh, you're in a tin? Well, how recyclable are you? I think it's the same stuff that I have. Mm, seems about the same, but the stuff I have, I mean, it really does a good job of taking the makeup off, but the one I have, um, irritates my skin really bad. So I'll have to see if this is the same thing as the other one that I have. Here's another box that's similar. Then we have the caffeine, caffeine energizing hydrogel patches. I wanted to try these because I love their yerba mate, like eye cream so much. I wanted to try this because it's like, it's caffeine. Now granted, I do think the hydrogels are a little bit wasteful, but you know, it is what it is. Then I have this niacinamide serum. Um, I do use the discoloration serum and the hyaluronic acid one. So I wanted to like rotate what I use and I wanted to try this because I do use niacinamide in with my um, Curology stuff and I do notice that my skin seems to like it. Then we have the Bacuchiol oil blend for dry skin 
which is something else that I wanted to try because Rob from Skin Mad was talking about how good this stuff is for different types of like skin things and um, I get breakouts quite readily and I'm over 40 which you know I didn't expect to get breakouts over 30 to be honest because I didn't really get them when I was younger. So he was talking about how good Bacuchio, um oil was so I wanted to try that. Then we have the glycolic uh, exfoliating toner. I think the one that I have that I use, it, the big one, is this. So if I have the like huge size of this, then I will find a new home for this one. Downside to wearing red lipstick. It goes outside the lines. Uh, then we have ooh, a squashy yerba mate wake up eye gel, the one that I have. Um, is like almost empty because I love it that much. Um, if I could afford to do the Bright and Tight and the Yerba Mate, I probably would do both just because, you know, I like, I like that one too. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner. So this one's a little bit different than the other one. So I'm going to have to see which toner I have. So I'm not doubling up on those. We have instructions for the mini fridge. And lastly in here we have the rose water daily cleansing gel so this will be nice to have so because i am moving oh my goodness there's even a little shelf in here so you can like you know divide it and put stuff on it so we have instructions and the power cord and everything and now i get to pack it all back in here because it's going back in the box that it came in um, I will have to leave like prices and whatnot on there because this didn't like tell me anything. It just, you know, it's the packing label more or less. So, um, there's that. But yeah, I'm like super, super stoked about this. You don't put it in that way. So I will have to figure out how to put you in and, and you. Um, but yeah, I'm like super excited to get it. Now that it's empty, I can show you the inside of it. I just realized there's a little thing on the door. Okay, so there's like a little thing here on the door that you can like put stuff in that, well, I'm sure if it was out of the box, it would fit. Look at that. Okay, and here's the inside and the shelf goes basically in the middle. So um, I don't know that the toners would fit in there like that. Let me see, do you guys lay down in there? And close. Ooh. So I could lay the toners down in here because they would be too tall to stand up. But it's an idea. But now I get to repack the fridge. Um, like really when I started on my journey with this brand, it was between this brand and the Inky List. And I really didn't know which one was gonna work better for me. Um, but I wanted something that was going to be cost effective, um, not going to be as excruciatingly expensive as some of the other skincare brands that I have um, known about for a while. And I just, I wanted to try something new, but I also wanted something that would work. So I'm, I'm re rearranging it. You don't quite fit right. We'll, we'll make it work. I'm gonna try and fit you in here somehow. Um, so I wanted something that wasn't gonna break the bank that I could go and rebuy. Like when I saw Rob like review the pineapple exfoliating cleanser the first or the uh, powder the first time, I was like, man, this stuff's like gonna be expensive. It's gonna like be thirty or forty dollars. I'm not gonna be able to afford it. Um, and you know, then I'm gonna want this product that I couldn't have. I think I spent like 30 something dollars on the trend mood box that had it in it. And like when I realized it was only 16 bucks, I was like, I'll go stand on the corner to earn $16 just so I can buy this. <laughs> it leaves my face feeling like baby butt smooth. It's so amazing. It doesn't cause me like serious dryness. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't burn my skin. I use it in the shower so it's not really messy because I put it in my hands and add some shower water to it. And then I also use it on my neck and my chest and my upper arms. Um, I do just kind of 
I get the whole thing. Like I do this and I do this and I do this and I do this with what's left over. And I just kind of let it sit for a minute and then I rinse and it's amazing. And when I get out of the shower, it's like I have a baby butt skin on my face and I really enjoy it. So it's like my hero product right now. Um, whether or not it's helping with like discoloration or unevenness or um, clearing my pores or the fine lines and wrinkles on my forehead or under my eyes. Do I know if it's doing anything for that? Nope, absolutely not. But it makes my face soft. <laughs> That's all that matters to me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm older. I'm not young. I have gray hair. If you can't tell, I do have gray hair. I am okay with getting older. Um, I, I still act like a kid most of the time anyways, because I'm really I'm just a big kid. But you know, it is what it is. And so I'm gonna enjoy it. And if my skin looks a little bit younger than it should, then that's even better. Um, I'm just trying to keep it hydrated and less dry and less itchy and less burny um, because regular tap water makes my skin like pissed off. So thankfully, the only thing that I've really found from Good Molecules that pisses my face off is the cleansing balm pisses my face off and the discoloration serum if I'm like super 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 dry that day and like even water burns my face that's gonna burn my face hands down it I, I don't even mess with it I just I go for the hyaluronic acid serum and I'm done um now that there's niacinamide in here I might do um you know a combo or a mixture of like both so like a few drops of one and a few drops of the other mix it together in my hands and then poof science experiment on my face so we'll, we'll see how that is. Um, I'll have to do like a patch test to make sure that my face doesn't like freak out to just this niacinamide. Um, because like I said, I do use it in my Curology and I use that every other day. So I'll figure out where to stick it in my skincare routine. And so yeah, there's that. So this was my unboxing um, of the Good Molecule stuff. Like I said, I got it at Black Friday. It was a really good deal. Like I said, the skincare fridge came free with the products. And I think the skincare fridge is like $60 or $70 on its own. So I got a really good deal. <laughs> and I got products that I haven't tried before. So, and that was on purpose. I did that on purpose so I could get um, new things to try. And so I'm not unhappy about it, but I'm gonna pack it back in the box it came in and tape it, and I'm just going to move it as it is. And um, so there's that. So yeah, anyways, I'm Rebecca Brissett. Hopefully you guys like this video. If you have any questions about Good Molecules, um, then feel free to ask them down below. I've been using them for months and I really enjoy their products. If you have any questions about us, some specific or you want me to do like a specific breakdown of just one product I can do that um, I will try and link uh, Rob from Mad About Skin in the description box and a couple of his videos that he's done on good molecules if you're curious so I will see you guys later have a fantastic day or night wherever you are bye